What's up, guys? Just finally got the water box filled with water. Just waiting on the replacement part. The return nozzle. I uh, ghetto rigged this completely just so I could get this started in the cycle because my current tank stand is literally on his last leg. This part right here, where it's unpainted, this should be sitting on top. And as you can see, it is not. So I can't open this door anymore. So any day now, this will uh, become hmm, water in my hardwood floor. So just waiting on an order from algaebarn.com so I can get this thing seated with copepods and transfer everything um, when I get the uh, order I'm going to drain a lot of this water and refill it with this tank water so the only thing that will be new to this tank is this live sand that I got I went with white instead of black so it's more reflective on the underside of the corals and whatnot. But here's a um, little shot of the back chamber, what I plan to do. So once again, filter sock, black sponge, I have some carbon in there, heater, Viper Nios pump, temperature probe, another black sponge with more carbon, and a filter sock. I had to make this baffle. I don't know if you can hear it. Don't know why it's doing that. Only on this one side. Water's level. Water's level throughout the tank. Measure the sand. It was a, a strong enough um, flow that it was actually splashing on this back wall. Like you can, maybe you can see just by taking that baffle out for a few seconds. I was getting a little bit of spray. But well, that's some egg crate light diffuser. So if you ever have that problem, I think I'm gonna, it doesn't do it on this side, but I think I'm gonna um, put one on this side as well, just to make it more symmetrical. I have like a little tiny pump in here to get the water circulating some more, because it was pretty cloudy. Down here, it's a mess, because I'm obviously it's not set up yet. That's the box to that RO unit I bought. I'm gonna have all my wires. It'll be uh, way better than my other tank. My other tank's a mess. Got the Ink Bird controller set on 78 degrees. I got a warning at 70 degrees and a warning at, I wanna say, 83 degrees. Um, so that's what I have so far. What my plans are since. I didn't take off this vinyl backing. I'm gonna try to remove this black sponge right there. I'm gonna uh, put my macroalgae that I ordered from Algae Barn in there, take out this black sponge. And I've used some cheap submersible LED lights before from Amazon to grow uh, Chato algae, Chato morpha, and it seemed to work. So I'm gonna give that a shot again, see how that goes. I also don't know about the light. You can actually see the intake tube from the pump through the back um, back wall since it's smoked glass and it's not plastic. So far, so good. Just gotta wait to get that order in and do a transfer. It's not it's not a totally ideal situation of how fast I'm gonna put water and fish in there. But I'm also going to have to get rid of my very nice blue tang and my new scatfish, which I'm kind of upset about, but they cannot, I feel like even for a little bit, cannot go onto this new tank. They would not be happy. There would be lots of aggression. This tank is about a foot shorter in length. And it's about the same high, the same dimensions everywhere else. Just the length. If this was the same length, I would keep the tank for a little lot longer, because that's a four-foot tank. And as you can see, they're very happy and doing well. But like I said before, 
the rock and all the corals are going to get slowly put in once I get my order from Algae Barn. So I'll be running the same lights and everything, which I think will look way better on this tank. It's a more sleek tank. It's not as deep and the light spread, the par, the par will be better in this tank. My sand bed's a little deeper. This is about, let's see, um, it's about two and a half inches deep for sand bed. And that one's, that one's close. You just can't tell because of the, the fact that these older tanks, well, not rimless at all, have the, the brace along the bottom and this is rimless. So it looks a little deeper, but it's just slightly deeper. But everything is doing good in this tank. All my blues, so many Kenya trees. Something is really pissing off these uh, euphelias right now. They're usually huge. This anemone is getting a lot more colorful since I switched to krill. Everything, it's already been fed today, but everything thinks that it's feeding time right now. But, uh, yeah, if you want to see more updates, uh, just subscribe, like, comment what you think. What you think about the videos. And I'll get back to you. Uh, keep in uh, keep <laughs> keep in contact. Uh, stay tuned. I'll post more videos when everything's happening. I might do a time lapse and be transferring everything over. But thanks for watching, guys.